let me take you through everything. I'll show you why I use it, might find use for yourself. I'll leave a link in the description below to some of these items. So we're gonna start out here with, so these are items either I purchased or I bring, but um, I have to start off here with my backpack, which is my camera bag actually. And so I have all my camera gear inside this bag. I also have a first aid kit in here. If I decide that I want to go for a hike with the camera pack, I have that. Yeah, I have my all my accessories, my camera gear and everything stays in there. And then this is a, a really nice back pack that I love by this company. And then I bring this uh, foldable chair, and uh, it's uh, a Costco item that I got. The brand is Cascade, and it basically just loops over the frame here, and then the frame all collapses into itself to be about this long here. It's a comfortable item that's small and compact. Can't leave home without light. I love this lantern. It's a Goal Zero lantern, and I did buy this on Amazon, and it gets super, super bright. And it um, plugs in here, it's uh, rechargeable with USB, as well as a power bank if you need. But it's got these cool feet that a stand here. Goal Zero, I'll leave a link where you can uh, check out the description and what it is, but I love this uh, lantern. And then I have my trusty solo stove, my mini, I think it's called the Ranger. It's a little tiny one. I do have a large one, but when it's just me out here by myself, I just bring small pieces of wood and I like it because it's small and portable and I don't need to make a huge fire. Coming over here, I have my um it's a 12 liter so it's about a little over three gallons of water which you could should plan on about a gallon a day per person and so for me for a three-day trip this is uh, plenty and i love it because it's got this wide uh, mouth to fill it as well as um, an air vent here so that when you pour here i'm not going to waste the water but it um, pours nicely. It doesn't, you know, gurgle, gurgle, gurgle. So um, this is a nice feature on it. And then also it's got a carry handle here and a carry handle here, so you can carry it either way. And it does not leak at all. So I brought some Myers hand soap here. Plant-based, so it should be fine for the environment. And moving along here, I have two of these boxes. There are Dewalt um, boxes that I got at Home Depot, and basically you could use these. I mean, they're uh, meant to be like toolboxes, but I use them for storage. What's nice is that they stack on top of each other, and then they clip right in here. Uh, but let me show you how I utilize them. So this one's kind of like my kitchen stuff. So what I've got in here is a roll of paper towels. I have some... Just some extra um, little disposable garbage bags in here. I have a mug, which I'm not happy with. It's plastic and it just uh, cools down too quickly. So I'm gonna replace that. I have some gloves. Uh, I have some Clorox wipes here. Here's my jet broil system. This is the base of it with the canister and then um, right here I have another canister. This is part of also the jet broil system. So I use that for boiling water. I have a pot here and inside here I have another little pot and then I have some some bowls. I like this pot because it has a handle and actually last night I had my tripod up um, and I put a rock in this pot and I hung it from the tripod so that the tripod wouldn't blow over in the wind. So it's quite useful, that handle. But I like that, they kind of nest together. So then over here I have spices that I bring. I told you about in an earlier video. 
Uh, these are from Keep Your Daydream, the YouTube family that I follow. Um, I have two things of coffee in two different containers. Salt and pepper, some olive oil, and some cocoa powder. So that bin is kind of my uh, kitchen bin. Okay, so moving along, I have this um, pouch right here. It's like a case. Let me show you what's inside here. Basically, this is a utensils for the kitchen. So I have, you know, spoon, spatulas, I have hand sanitizer. On this side, I have garbage bags. This opens up here. It has got a pouch here. And so it's nice. Um, I can put knives in here, but um, the larger utensils for cooking go in that. And then it just zips up. This I basically use as like my dry goods. Paper plates and bowls. I have a tray in here. This is kind of handy when I'm sitting in my chair and I want to eat in my lap. So in here I have empty um, jar. I had these buttermilk pancakes that are keto friendly and it was amazing. And you shake the two jars together like you put the liquid inside one jar with the powder ingredients. You shake it all up and then you make pancakes. It was excellent this morning. Um, I'm cheating, so I have a few little cookies that I had a s'more last night with. That was a cheat for me. I have this Dawn Power Wash. And what's nice about this is you can um, just spray your dish when it's dirty and dry. And then wipe it down and then rinse it. And it takes the grease off. It cleans it super easily. So you don't have to waste a lot of water. Um, Ziploc bags, don't leave home without them. I have some bread. I have two bags of chips here. And then here I have like smaller items such as some um, snack items, nuts, dark chocolates, my vitamins, um, some mustard in there. Anything that is small that I don't want bouncing around is in there. And then this. This is just like a tool um, kit. It's actually a tool belt roll for tools, but I use it for my silverware. So I've got knives, spoons, utensils, more utensils. So yeah, and then um, what I like about it is it just, it's everything is neat and organized and it just rolls up into itself. Let me put it out here so you can see. It rolls up onto itself and then clips. So I like that. Okay, moving over here to my little table setup. First of all, this table is by a company called Uline and I really like it. It's the first time I've used it. Someone actually gave it to me. Um, it collapses. This whole thing just collapses into something this size. It folds into itself. This pops off right here. You just take this and it pops off. And then this piece actually collapses like a, or a clamshell onto itself. So um, it's really compact and it comes with this little carrying case. And what I like about it is it has these um, holes in it, these drink holders. So they're quite useful, there's four of them. But because I didn't bring a larger table, for cooking purposes, I brought a tray to make a little flat and secure section here. And then I have my cooking one burner stove. It's a stand sport uh, connected to the propane, a dish towel. This is my jet broil um, system. This is my French press system, but I boil water. Last night I boiled water for my hot water bottle in there. I can also use this to cook with. Um, and then a nonstick. Uh, pan. Speaking of my stove system, I'm not really happy with this. I, after this trip, will probably get a different um, stove system. The one I really want is by Jetboil, and it's kind of 
an expensive item, but I think I'll probably splurge and get it or ask for it for Christmas maybe. But this just doesn't heat evenly and it pulses the propane and I'm just not happy with it. But I do have this wind. I brought it. I'm so glad I did. I have this from my old trailer. But basically it's just a windscreen and it collapses into itself. And like this morning I used it up around the stove and it really is like a lifesaver for... Um, protecting the flame from the wind so I'm glad I brought this it really works good and then moving down here you can see I have this is actually a like a bag that's watertight if you were to go kayaking or canoeing or river rafting but what I do is I put my garbage bag inside of it and then uh, nothing's gonna leak and if it does it's all contained in this bag and then I can actually just leave this garbage bag in here and fold the whole thing up onto itself with these clips here and it won't smell in the car so that's uh kind of a cool idea for garbage so it did bring my yeti um, thermos and i've been happy with this i've had ice in it now for a couple days and i still have ice in it so um i'm glad i brought this it's just another way to keep your drinks cool camping you need a lighter i have a couple of these as well as a small like a cigarette lighter with me and then i brought a hatchet a little axe for my wood and all the wood that i have is in this soft-sided um, bag also i've put my extra garbage in there and then that just goes up in inside the the roof box there so it's um one way to organize the wood without it being a mess all over the place and because I'm bringing small wood for that solo stove right there, it, it all fits inside this bag here and it's um, easier to manage and fit. Around to the other side of the car, I'll just show you a few things here. So first of all is my a black diamond light and this one I keep inside the car so um, I did use it last night I have another light in there but um, I like having another lantern like this it's a little bit smaller inside the car with me I bought this um, and I used it until it got so windy but it's basically a clip-on umbrella and it's made to like clip on the back of a chair or something like it that but um, I've actually used it it's just to kind of give me some cover over this door which is my entry door to get in and out or to change or something so that I don't get rain or something like that when I'm stepping out of the car I wanted to show you the sun screen the umbrella that I bought that clips on um, right now I've got it mounted on my handle uh, but this is like multi-directional. You can change this anyway, even this arm, this arm up here. So you can really tilt it whichever way you want. Right now I have it tilted like this because the sun is over there. And then I had it connected up here. So it was coming out over here to give me a little shelter over the window. But yeah, I like it. They come in this size and then one a little bit larger. And I'll probably get one more and then I can cover a little bit more of this area or maybe I'll just buy a uh, awning pull out awning I did bring this little mat down here I didn't have access I was gonna bring a nice uh, mat a large mat for the area here but I didn't have access because it's in my trailer and the trailer the RV is at the shop right now and then you might be wondering what is in here Even though I am car camping and overlanding, I still don't want to give up the luxuries of a toilet. So this is my toilet, and I like it because it's inside this bag, so at camp it doesn't look like the toilet sticking right out there, but it flushes, it's got a tank, um, level to tell me when it's full or not and then this breaks off 
into two pieces and both pieces go in the top storage box on top of the car so I don't have to have it in the car with me. Two things inside the car that I wanted to show you. It looks messy but it's actually rather organized. Just my bed, I didn't really make it. But um, I have my tripod for the camera. This is a toiletry bag and inside my toiletry bag I have my toothbrush, soap, hand sanitizer, things like that, deodorant. And then here is my EcoFlow power bank and it's working right now to charge the refrigerator. I like these little um, USB lights. They plug right into the EcoFlow and they turn on and off with the touch of a um, finger here. I'm charging every some other things so I, I won't show that to you now but I love this. I'll leave a link for uh, you in the description below but this was an Amazon find and I love it. It's a nice light at night to just lay in here and read. My iPad, my GoPro, all those things are being charged right now. I think I am going to return the air mattress. I'm just not happy with it. It's not that comfortable to me. I guess I'm not big on air mattresses. And look, it takes up like, it makes it like this much higher in here. And I'd almost rather just do like some memory foam down here. But this was a purchase I thought it got really good reviews. You can actually, one side is tucked under, so it opens all the way up here. Uh, so you could sleep two people back here on it. But I'm just not that pleased with it. And yeah, I don't think I'm an air mattress guy. I think I'd rather just put some memory foam down here and I'd sleep more comfortable. Of course, my sleeping bag, pillow. I have a sheet, a couple blankets. I have a heated blanket, my drone, my camera. I did use these packing cubes for my um, clothes. I have gloves, a hat. I have boots, which I've actually worn. It was cold and they're lined inside, so they're nice and warm. Then in the front of the car is my refrigerator. And this is an Iceco refrigerator. Um, for me, it holds everything that I need. I don't wanna, op well, I'll open it really quick so you can see, but I don't want to let the cold air out. So it functions really well, and um, I've been pleased with it. And I was just going to use a Yeti cooler, but um, I actually splurged a little bit and got this, and I'm happy and glad I did. I don't have to deal with wet, soggy food or ice melting or draining the cooler or anything like that. And this just charges into the EcoFlow. And um, at night, I actually turn it off. So I conserve the battery on the EcoFlow and it does just fine. I have these window shades. Uh, they're car window shades to give me some privacy. Also block out the sun. And you notice on that one, I have a screen. And that screen just goes over the entire door frame. Let me show you on the outside. The gear that I have purchased is not that expensive. There's a few items that I splurge on, like the EcoFlow, um, the Iceco, also the DeWalt uh, boxes from Home Depot. They were kind of expensive too. You don't have to get a container that's super expensive. But what I like about them is they lock, they're air and watertight, and I can stand on them. So when I'm loading the luggage carrier on top, I can stand on these boxes and, and not ruin them. I hope this has given you something to think about for your own adventure, be it car camping, uh, overlanding, or just regular uh, tent camping. But I'll leave a link in the description below of some of these items. If you enjoyed this video, please share it. Uh, consider subscribing and hit the notification icon so that next time I release a video, you'll be uh, notified when it drops. But it helps my channel grow, and I appreciate your support. Until I see you on the next video, enjoy your journey. My first night in the cross truck, and I'm actually all comfortable. Let me turn around so you can see, but I'm completely spread out. I've got my privacy shades.
shade insulate here in the window up there, the screen. I have this really cool light. It's USB and it's just a tap. Turns it on and off. And it doesn't look like it hardly uses any battery. And I have my hot water bottle as well as I have a heating blanket right here that, let's see, it was plugged in, but I just unplugged it because I'm hot. And uh, so I'm here for my first night, and I have the window over there. 